But first, why did a car come barreling through a classroom? Why did somebody have to die? Those are at least a couple of the questions on people's minds tonight as they reflect on what happened exactly one week ago. A deadly crash during a class at the Pima Medical Institute. On the right side of your screen, the crowd just coming together to pay tribute to the woman who was killed. ABC 15's Ryan Cummings covering the story every step of the way. And Ryan, you were there for our very first breaking news coverage. Now you're hearing from those who were deeply affected by the loss of that student. Yes, Stephen Katie, she was 22 years old and studying to be a massage therapist. But last week, Lacey Guntrad lost her life after an elderly woman drove right into her classroom. Tonight, gathered near the site where it all happened, friends and family are still asking why. More than 200 of Lacey's friends and family members gather outside the Starbucks on Power Road where Lacey worked and just a few hundred feet away from where she died. Tonight, they sang her favorite songs, as you heard by Adele, while lighting candles in her honor, thinking about the accident that took her life. One friend who has known Lacey since junior high school says they are all blessed by the turnout. Lacey was one of those when she made your coffee, she did something special to that coffee, and that was love. So she really went out of her way to do special things. but. Um, yeah, people love her, and that's the kind of person she was. She was love. And another of Lacey's friends is also organizing a fundraiser at Dairy Queen where she works to help raise money for Lacey's family. She is calling it a celebration of life, and all of that information is available on our website at abc15.com. As for the 86-year-old woman, Stephen Katie, who drove into the classroom last week, police still have not said if she will be charged. Yeah, amazing how one life can affect so many, though. Thank you, Ryan.